Arsenal Fan TV just catching up here with Paul Merson. He's just done a... Br Listen, if you haven't seen this gentleman here do an after-dinner speaking, he's <laughs> the best I've heard. He just done it at the Lashings Club in Maidstone here, and you were brilliant. Thank you. I mean, the stories of your life, fantastic. Well, that's what happened, yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was nice. As long as the crowd like it, I mean, that's the main thing. And, they loved it. You know, it's for, it's for charity, which is good, so... It's nice no, to put you. It's absolutely out. brilliant. Now, listen, I'm, I'm not going to ask you about the past, though. I'm jumping into the future here yeah. with the team at the moment. I know you always say it as it is. That's why we love you. First of all, last week at Tottenham, what did you make of that? I mean, it was really disappointing from the team. <laughs> I, I, I don't miss playing football anymore. I mean, I had my time and I played my time. The one game I do miss, I miss football is when the fixture comes out and it's Arsenal v Tottenham. The way we're brought up. You know, that was the way it was. That was the big game. When I was on holiday in the summer, I'd ring my dad up and go, when the fixtures come out, when's the Tottenham game? When I watched that the other night, them, them players don't really get it, if I'm being honest. They don't get you it. You think that, that they just don't get the North London derby? They don't get it, I'm sorry. I don't know if I don't know if Arsene gets it, if I'm being honest. I, sat, I worked for Sky at, at the semi-final when he completely and utterly mugged it off and they got well rinsed in the semi-final second leg. Mm. Remember that one yeah, when, he rest, yeah, yeah. when he changed the team? That was the day it told me that, that you know, they don't really understand it. This could have wiped the whole season off. If Arsenal could have gone to Tottenham, beat Tottenham in their own yard, stopped them winning the league and... Mm. Everybody would have gone, what's happened this season, we'll forget it. But that was, that was, people go on to me about the Palace. That was worse than Palace. This is a North London derby. This is the big game of the season. Two of these games there are. And you, then I, I, I was disgusted, if I mean, I'm being there's a lot. There's a lot of people saying that now Tottenham have gone, obviously they are above us in the table. A lot of people saying now there's been a shift in power, but... No, I don't, worry. I don't, I don't go with shift in power. I mean, it's once in 21 years. I mean, mm. a shift in power be if they do it in the next five or six years. But there is a gap there at the moment. If I'm being honest, there is a gap. And they, and they need to close that quickly. And I don't, at the moment, I don't know how they are going to do it. And the thing with it is, when I watched Leicester last year and you watch uh, Kante, mm. when you were watching, you think, where'd they get him from? And it was, where did they get him from? Mm. But when you look at this Tottenham team, the players they bought, they've all been here. They've all been here, like Alta Veldi, uh, Wanyama, uh, Deli Alley, you know, uh, Trippier, Simon Davis, yeah, uh, Vertonghen, th 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 they've all played. Why, why aren't we going for these players? Why, why are we? Why are we playing thirty million pound for Shaka when you know mm. that he wouldn't get he wouldn't get none? I'm, I'd make a case for Sanchez to get in the Tottenham team. After that, I, I can't get I can't make a case for anybody. I can't at the moment. I can, right. you, 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 I'll, I'll throw it to you. You tell me, and then I'll answer you. Koscielny. What instead of Vertonghen and Altavoldi? They're the best two centre halves in the country at the moment. Um, it'd be sad. He'd be in the squad. Who else? Change the subject. Well, that's what I mean. I say it, you know it, but I say it. You know it, I say it. And then when I say it, everybody goes, think, oh, he's off, she's off. I think at the moment, it's just, a, I think there are players in there that are capable of getting in there. Oh, they, but they it's just that they've capable, been so poor they've been recently. Poor, but, you know, this is not this is not one year, is it? This is six, seven years now. They haven't won anything. They've won a couple of cups. Anybody can win the FA Cup. Anybody can win the FA Cup. And we see that two weeks ago, you know, when Chelsea played at Wembley, they rested their best two players because they want to win the league. They want to win the Premier League. And if they lost that game, it was like, well, it's the FA Cup. Anybody can win the FA Cup. Not anybody can win the Premier League. You know, there's, there's 18 teams that can win the Premier League and that's it. You know, or 20 teams, sorry. So, you know, for me, you know, that's the bit, bit and, and you've got to look at these players now and you think, right, they've been here six, seven, eight. A lot of these have been here a long time. They haven't done anything. What are we going to do? Mm. What are we going to do? And, you know, there's a lot of wholesale change. This was looking like it was going to be a great job to take as a manager. The way it's going, it doesn't look great at the moment. Does he still stay for you? He'll stay. If he weren't staying, he'd have said he was going. Do, do you think he should stay? No. No. Time, time moves on. Arsene Wenger's been great. You know, I have a lot of respect for Arsene Wenger. And he's been, he has been great. Of course he has. But it's got... Or they've got... Oh, bring David Dean back. Or at least mm. bring David Dean back. Mm. You know, if you're going to make one sign in this season, bring David Dean back. There's your, there's my signing. Mm. If they didn't buy anybody next season and they brought David Dean back, I know in three years' time that club will be fighting for the Premier League title again, mm. without a doubt. Now, listen, just before you go here, Man United at the weekend, um, that's going to be a tough game as well. You no, mean, biggest you know, ever. 
Huh? Arsenal will win. Arsenal will win Sunday. You're they'll back win in Arsenal on Sunday. They'll win Sunday. Yeah. Why is that? Because Man United have got another big game next on, on this week. They, they just beat Celta Vigo, or they're winning one nil. Then they got to play them again next Thursday. They, they could win their next four Premier League games five nil, yeah, and still not get in the Champions League. They've only got to win. They might only have to win one more Euro, Europa League game in the final. They could mm. draw the next game, win that, and they're in the Champions League. Do the sums. What's the, what's the Chelsea? The, that game for me that they will rest up team players. The problem with with that, and this is the problem. That puts severe pressure on Arsene Wenger. Because mm. if they don't beat Man United, then it'll be Man United's second string, and then you've got to ask serious questions. Well, it's happened before, it happened last serious year. Serious <laughs> questions. Yeah, but not on your own patch. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Not on mm. your own patch. So, you know, this puts severe pressure on Arsene Wenger this Sunday. You mm. know, usually he does it the other way around. Like, as I said, semi final Tottenham changed his team. You know, oh, mm. if, if, if we beat Tottenham, it's, it's embarrassing. And if we don't beat them, you know, you know I put the youngsters out today. Mm. I, just one last thing I want to ask you, right? You said something in there when you was doing your talk about you compared the Arsenal team when we was at Highbury. Right, yeah, yeah, to I don't, the, I don't just say that again right, because I, 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 that really spooked me when right. you said that. When we was at Highbury, right? It used to hold 38,000 people, right? 38,000. Arsenal had Burkamp, Vieira, Petit, Omri, Perez, Lundberg, Overmars. Vieira, uh, Sol Campbell, Campbell Lauren, uh, Ashley Cole. These are world, world-class footballers, right? World-class footballers. They go now to the Emirates. All right, they had to pay the stadium for a bit. The stadium's paid. they got a lot of money now. They get 60,000 people, so that's an extra 22,000, at least 80 pounds every other week. We have one world-class footballer. What, what, why, we, why have we only got one world-class footballer? Where's all the money? Where's the money going? Where's the money? I'm st- <laughs> it where, blew where, me away when you me, said it. The money, where's the money going? Where's the money going? Don't don't put everybody on the same amount of money, 120, 130 grand. Put the best players on that, and the ones who are average get less money. That's always been the rule. You know, the problem is at Arsenal, they, across the board, they're all on good money. Wayne Rooney's not on the same money as Rashford. Because Rashford hasn't done it yet. He hasn't, you know, when he gets to that level, he'll get that money, and he will one day. And believe me, he will. There's no mm. doubt about that. But at the moment, that's the way the rule goes. But you look at Arsenal, you know, from the top to the bottom, there's not a lot of, lot of difference in the money. Not a lot at all. Listen, Paul, thank you very much. Pleasure. Passionate as always. Keep the faith. It Let's will change, will it, please? <laughs> I hope please. so. <laughs>